Hi there. My name is David Wedden. I know so many people now are doing Excel dashboards and business intelligence products. Um, been doing a lot of training myself. That's kind of my my thing, I guess. That's me as a trainer and as a business person. So welcome to this set of series of clips I'm going to do on Excel business intelligence, performance intelligence, as I like to call it. And these are survivor tips. These are tips that I would give to anyone based on my years, decades of experience, basic survival stuff, not complicated. And that's why I chose this theme of survivor, because I think it's really important to have some of those basic survival skills. This isn't about high end, you know, analytical content. That's really important too. But in the end, a dashboard is a picture. It's a piece of art and looks do matter. So what we should all rem remember is that at the end, if you product doesn't look good, doesn't work well for users. In a couple of seconds, you've lost them. You've not only lost them in terms of content, they probably won't even consider these kinds of products in the future. So you've done yourself a real disservice. So here's some tips. I'm going to make a number of them, but I'll give two of you or two of them in this one. First one, um, the one that I escaped me for many, many years pretty basic though, and very, very important because it bothered me for years, is how do you stop dashboard content from hopping around? You press the slicer bars, uh, buttons, and things seem to jump and they're very, very annoying on the, a user when things are moving around. We don't want things to move. So how do we make sure they stay put? The other tip I wanted to share here is something that's really basic. When you think about it, we're working on color screens these days. Everything's in color. So your dashboards need to use color. It's absolutely essential. And you need to use colors in your slicers. They can be used to group things, to display messages, to make the things kind of pop out the way you want them to. But using colors is critical. So let's take a look at an example of what I'm talking about, about dashboards hopping around. So here's a dashboard with which I say has so many basic flaws in it, it's going to be wonderful as a teaching tool because I can see at least 10 things that are crappy here. But let's focus on one particular problem, which is dashboards moving around. So here's some information on some schools. It's got a bunch of stuff in it. doesn't really matter. And, you know, we press the slicers and things happen. That's cool. When I push this one, oops, everything's now hopped around because the size of the pivot table has changed and that makes things move over. And now all my things aren't lined up the way I wanted them to do. So how do you stop that from happening? Very simply, there is an option near pivot table, which I eluded me for years, that it says it's going to help and auto fit everything as it changes, which is nice if you just have a pivot table. But if you have slicers and other charts on the table, you do not want that. So uncheck that box. Now you'll see your content on the screen will stay where you want it. You can also rearrange. If you don't think this column needs to be that wide, you can change it down. And now it's going to stay the way you want it, which I think is a really important thing. When you've decided on a format, I don't want things to be jumping and users hate that. So that's survivor tip number one. And survivor tip number two, again, very basic. Start using colors and slicers. So you've got infinite possibilities on this one. So back to this same dashboard. Um, actually, I'm going to go up a little bit higher so you can see it. So you'll notice that whenever you click on your slicers, your slicer tool options pop up here. You do have options. You should check them out. Here's some colors that Microsoft has given you. Now, I find they're not terribly interesting, but at the very least, they're there for your use. You can pick them. You can change them. These dark ones I don't like at all, but again, at least they give you some color. You can put content in your screen now. Maybe that's helpful in terms of people's sorting data. I am going to show you how to make custom slicer colors and content in another one in my next series of clips. Those are even better. But again, use the colors that are there. Make it, Take advantage of them. They do make a big difference in the way people can view the data. So that's all the tips I had for today. So I hope those will help you. Um, I got probably a couple of dozen coming up in terms of uh, video clips. So thanks for watching and good luck on your products.